two rail shipments mm-hmm. that he got withdrawn? When did you find out about that? Well, there had been some back and forth about methodology and, and how comfortable they felt. Um, we think we still think the numbers are very, very serious. In fact, I tell the story that I was sitting with five uh, producers in North Dakota, and they told me that the problem with the rail shipment had cost them over a half a million dollars collectively. And that's not messing around. That those are real numbers. We expect NDSU is going to reevaluate, and that we'll see additional work being done. Um, now, understand this: uh, the the University of Minnesota did a very comparable study and came up with exactly the same result. So I think they just want to make sure that everything that they have, because it's been pretty high profile, uh, they want to make sure that all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. And you hit it right on the head. Governor Darrell, who used this last week, I think, in the STV mm-hmm. meeting, so shouldn't have NDSU come out and said something? Because they said it pulled it within a few days. Yeah, I, you know, I, I'm not going to criticize NDSU. They they, they they actually had said, you know, we're, we're, we want a little bit more verification of the numbers that we have, want to relook at our methodology. And so, you know, since since they raised that caution with me, I haven't used the study. I didn't use it before the STB, but <laughs> but I'm telling you, I think it's over 100 million, and I don't think I don't. I, 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 you hear it, Chris? Know, you know, know this this is these numbers are real, and I, I think it's for, from their standpoint, they want the study to be um, absolutely rock solid so that those growers can use it um, again. And I recommend you call Dan Wogslin and Thank those you. folks who, and and I think the corn growers are are doing some of their own separate study. Call Mark Watney over at Farmers Union because okay. they are already dealing with the economic consequences before the surface transportation. Two quick questions.